So guys, and um, this is not gonna be a Fortnite video, but this is gonna be a Darman video. We're gonna be reacting to Darman, and yeah. So we're gonna find the ones that I'm gonna wa watch, and yeah. So let's go. Let's watch this one, guys. Finally, we're on the go. Go, Don't we can go guys. places. Hey, sweetheart. Up to this channel. Good. Why are you still in your pajamas? <laughs> I thought you had an interview today. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I pay like $14 per hour? Who on earth would work for that? Someone who has bills to pay? That's who. But you don't have any of those, so you wouldn't understand. Have you seen the... You used all the milk. Oh, I... Sorry. Did you need such a big bowl? Other people share this milk too, you know. It's not that serious. Just buy another gallon after work. It's easy for you to say you're not the one paying for it. <sighs> Whatever. Hey, buddy. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, good morning. <sighs> Why is it so cold in here? I'm glad you said something. I thought it was just me. Hmm. Did you turn on the AC? Yep, this morning. It's freezing in here. What temperature did you set it at? 67 degrees? Do you know how much electricity this uses? Well, it's hot. What else do you want me to do? Well, um, you can take off your hoodie, for starters. But then I'll be cold. Exactly. And you don't have to pump up the AC. What do you have to say? Uh, try not to use the AC so much. Okay, buddy? You guys are being so dramatic. I bet it's not even that expensive. Oh, okay. So you pay the electricity bill all on your own. Oh wait, you can't because you don't have a job. God, not this lecture again, please. Dad, can you tell her something before she goes crazy? Oh, well, they are. I don't believe this. This. Right, so you got it's fine. Pay. He's still young. He's got time. Yeah, okay. He's 18 years old. He's 18. When I was so his like, age, I had two so jobs and I paid this all my own bills. I want to hear this again. He thinks everything's like not that no. expensive. What? You're just gonna leave your cereal there? I don't believe this. He just thinks money grows on trees. Yeah, he uh, he'll learn one day. Do we have any more milk? No, Daniel poured all the rest of the milk in this big bowl of cereal and then just left it. It's fine. I'll just drink my coffee black. Uh, why does our internet bill say that it's going up? Did you change our plan? No. Oh my God. Maybe Daniel did. Are you serious? You know he's going to say, well, what's the big deal? When he's not paying for it. I think we need to put our foot down. He's got to start paying for things. You're right, sweetheart. Yeah, he so I'll have a towel. Dad, the toothpaste is out. Can you pick some up after work? Um, <clears throat> sure, son. Daniel, did you change our internet package? Oh, yeah. It was lagging on Warzone, so I upgraded our services. It's only like 40 more dollars a month. It's not that big of a deal. $40 a month is a lot of money. What are you doing? What? It's empty. No, look at this. Give me, let me no, see. No, that, no, no way. I don't want toothpaste that's been in the trash. Oh, your dad and I will use it then. I'll get it. You can't just go changing our services without letting us know. It was lagging. What do you want me to do? Hi, I have a package for Daniel Ortiz. Look at my packages here. Thank you so much. Enjoy. What in the world did you order this time? Yes, my piece of is finally here. How in the world did you pay for that? Oh, I used your credit card. You used our credit card. Five hundred dollars. Did he talk to you about this? this no, is mad. he didn't say anything to me about this. Daniel. How could you charge something so expensive on our card without talking to us? It was only a few hundred dollars. What's the big deal? A few hundred dollars? Do you know how hard it is to earn a few hundred dollars? 
No, you don't. Because all you do is lay on the couch in your pajamas, drink the last bit of milk, pump the AC, and spend money on our credit card without paying for it. Relax, Mom. You're blowing this way out of proportion. Dad, can you tell her? Uh, your mom's right, son. You gotta listen to her. That's it. Enough is enough. I am returning this. So going forward, if you want to spend money, you spend your own money. So that you can learn that money does not grow on trees. What? No, this is so unfair. It's for your own good, Daniel. Let's talk about... And I don't need to live here anymore either. After I get a job, I'm moving into my own apartment. Wait, Daniel, let's talk about... Are you sure this was all necessary? This isn't easy on me either. But I know in my heart that this is the only way he is going to learn. If you say so. The mom and dad stand there hoping Daniel finally learns not to be wasteful with money. The next week, Daniel starts interviewing for jobs. Because he doesn't have much experience, this is how fast YouTube is with Brave. Notice how there's no pre-roll ads? And here's how you can see how much time you save with Brave. Look, Chrome was great in 2008, but it's 2021. Join the 20 million people already using Brave. Experience a faster internet through Brave. All he gets offered is an entry-level position. He hesitates? But after remembering he has bills to pay, he decides to take the offer and starts working right away. A few weeks later, he moves into his new apartment. Everything seems to be going great. That is, until he realizes how much money he has to spend paying all of his new bills. Daniel quickly sees how much even buying basic things like milk and toothpaste can quickly add up. It doesn't take long for all of his hard-earned money to disappear. Now that he's paying for everything himself, he becomes a lot more responsible to save on bills. A lot less wasteful to save on groceries. And he squeezes every last drop out of everything he has. Daniel finally learns the importance of not wasting money. And then one day, Daniel goes to pay a visit to his parents. Daniel, you look great. Come on in, bud. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. You look nice. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Mom. <laughs> I bought you guys some things. You got us some stuff. What'd you get us? First off, you got your water filter. You guys spend so much money on water bottles, this will help reduce that cost. Oh, I never thought of that. I'm impressed. I guess that will help us save a lot, huh? Yeah, it will. Thanks. And I also got you double padded toilet paper. That way you can split it in half and get the most out of each roll. Well, maybe your mom can split hers in half, but I like the extra padding. <laughs> <laughs> well, if at least one of you guys do it, you'll save a lot of money. Oh. Oh, and I also got you this. Since you like oranges, I got you seeds to plant them. That way. <laughs> oh, I got skipped a little bit. Yeah, well, it took me getting my own job and paying for my own bills, but I finally understand. Money doesn't grow on trees. Hmm. Well, luckily oranges do, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> How long is your sister going to be staying with us? As soon as she finds a job. Give me breakfast. Alright guys, we're gonna watch um, Linda I want to that's cool. Am I watching more? No, that's it. Hmm. 
the funnest thing on earth. One wheel. Exhibit A with one wheel's hype. Oh, oh, behind you. Ah, <laughs> they got me, they got uh. me. Come res me, come res me. Brayden, what is this? Your report card says you've got a C in math. Wait, what is he doing here? Oh, uh, we're just playing video games. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Baker. Brayden? I need to speak with you alone. Now. What are you thinking bringing him over here? Didn't I tell you not to hang out with kids like that? They're nothing but trouble. What do you mean? Martin's my friend. I don't care. He has a bad influence on you. Look at how low your grades have gotten since you started hanging out with him. That's not his fault. Martin's one of the smartest students in our school. You know, you really shouldn't judge someone before you get to know them. <laughs> yeah, right. He probably doesn't even go to school. You know how his people are. After today, I don't want you hanging out with him anymore. Understand? We almost won. That was insane. <laughs> hey, Mom, do you think I can get that new laptop for my birthday? It'll really help me with school. We'll see. And that was good. Oh, here, you can have some more if you want. Thanks. You're pretty hungry, huh? Oh, yeah. I, I, I am. So, can I get some milk? Oh yeah, here, help yourself. Thanks. Mom, where's the mom? Okay, she's gonna save that. Did you just finish the milk? I was going to drink that. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, shoot, I, I could pour it back if you want. No, it's too late. Don't your parents feed you or something? Mom, it's fine. I told him he could have more. I don't break my back at work all day long just to feed some kid Whoa. whose parents probably don't work and can't afford to feed him themselves. Mom! That's kind of mean. I'm really sorry about that. I, I should go. I'll text my dad to pick me up. So, um, the hey man, mind if I use restroom real quick? Yeah. You can use the one in my bedroom upstairs. All right, appreciate it. Caught ya, red-handed. Oh, it's not what it looks like. Oh, you're trying to steal from us, aren't you? No, I... I would never, I would... Get out of my house right now. But... Now! That's being mean. She's being... This is so being mean. She's being awkward. You don't know what that means. Don't ever come back here again! My son doesn't need friends like you! Mom, what happened? Oh, I caught your little friend trying to steal from us. What? He would never do that. <laughs> Wait! Wait, Martin, wait. Tell him the truth, Martin. You wanna know the truth? I'll tell you the truth. You see, you say that I'm a bad influence and that kids like me probably don't even go to school. But the truth is, I go to Look school every day. And I get straight A's. I even try and get Brayden to study with me. And you say that my parents probably don't feed me because they're poor and don't work. But the truth is, my dad is the vice president of one of the biggest tech companies in the world. Oh my gosh. Your dad drives a Tesla? I'll say this is gonna be one more. 
and you say that I was in Braden's room to steal. But the truth is, I was only in Braden's room to surprise him. With this. You, you bought me a new laptop? Wow, and it's the new one I've been wanting. Thank you so much, man. You're the best friend ever. No problem. I know you needed it for school, so I asked my dad to help me get it. So you see, I'm not the bad guy you think I am. I am so sorry for how terrible. I'm not gonna I had it all wrong. Can you please forgive me? It's, it's okay. Honestly, I, I get this all the time. I'm pretty used to it. You are a great influence on Brayden. And you are welcome <laughs> over yeah, anytime. I'm just one <sighs> Thanks. And, yeah. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow at school, Brayden. See you, Martin. Thanks again. Never just one before we're getting to know them. Alright. And we're gonna react to one more. That's it. I'm Kyle. I'm senior year. Best. Mrs. Baker? He barely gives me any money, Your Honor. Last month he only gave me $300. That's why I should have 100% custody of Brittany. No, I want to stay with Daddy too. Shh, quiet, baby. Is that true, Mr. Jones? Are you not able to take care of your ex-wife's financial needs? Things have been a little tight lately, Your Honor. After I pay food and rent, I give her all the money I have. But that's still not enough. $300 a month, Roger? That's pathetic. And it's a good thing we have Damien now, who makes twice as much money as you. I may not make a lot of money, but that does not make me a bad father. You see, when we were married, I didn't have a lot, but every day I would pick Brittany up from school. I'd ask her how did her day go, and we'd laugh the whole way home. And whenever we got home, no matter what I was doing, I'd always put Brittany's needs first. I'd give her all my time and attention so that she could get ahead in life. And that night, I took my baby girl into yeah. bed and read That's her bedtime funny, stories. I'd watch her smile and slowly fall asleep, oh, knowing that her daddy loves her. So you see, I may make only half the money, but I give twice as much love. And that's what matters. I'm sorry. <laughs> But that is the saddest excuse I have ever heard. Roger, you can't pay bills with love. Order. Settle down, Mrs. Baker. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Well, I've listened to your testimonies, but I'm gonna have to give this some more thought. This court will re-adjourn in two days for my decision. You. And I don't want to be with that either, baby. Brittany, get over here right this minute.
The next day, the mom and Damien pick up Brittany from school. Brittany tries to tell him how her day was, but he couldn't care less. The mom watches on, remembering how Roger would make Brittany laugh and smile. Later on, Brittany asks Damien for help with her homework, but he doesn't make any time for her. The mom looks over, remembering how Roger would give her so much attention. That night, as Brittany's about to go to sleep, she asks Damien to read her a bedtime story, but he says no. The mom watches sadly, now realizing how much of a better father Roger was towards Brittany. And then the next day, they come back to the courtroom. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Your Honor. Ms. Baker, is your boyfriend not joining? Oh, no. We're actually no longer together. I see. Well, Mr. Jones, you seem like a great dad, but given your financial situation, I think it's best to grant Mrs. Baker 100% custody. If that's still what you want, Miss Baker. What? No, Yana, please. Mom, please. I don't want to be without Daddy. I can't live without my baby. I'm sorry, but unless Miss Baker changes her mind, I hereby grant her 100% custody of I changed my mind. I realize now that Roger really is a good father. Even if he, he only has half as much money, he gives her twice as much love and that's all that matters. And maybe we can try to be a family again. I would love that. you so much. I love you too, sweetheart. And they live happily ever after. Sweet dreams. Hey, Darman fam, I hope you loved that video. So, you so guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification button. So, I'll see you next time. Peace out. Goodbye.